Hello everyone, my name is Chris, welcome to Inside My Mind series where I explain everything you need to know to become an extraordinary player in the finals. Today we're gonna test out an interesting medium build. A lot of players said that I am an idiot for not running defibs and I should let go of an APS and just go double movement defibrillator as well as I swapped out a typical scar for an AK just to test out the possibilities and limitations of that weapon i am playing with two of the pretty much best heavy players that are left in the game uh, when it comes to double heavy medium composition and we absolutely cooked i think i've seen more people in this fight than in the previous tournament playing medium but that's just that's just the cruel reality of the situation i feel like uh, once you realize that in double heavy medium as a medium, you are not important, you are just there um, as a utility, not a solo carry. Your whole perception of the game changes and you start, um, like, you either swap out the role or you start loving it. Uh, we are playing with Nevermore and we are playing with Tosca. Uh, insane, insane Russian players. Uh, absolutely love playing with them. Uh, so we are going for the cash out how do you say that cash out drop cash out move so if you are not familiar you want to take the gas barrel throw it take it and throw it okay so you have it in your hand you throw it towards the cash out you pick it up immediately and then you throw it again right and if you do it in the jump pad the cash out is gonna fly further than ever and i'm gonna show a few examples later on in this round or in the next one I feel like AK is a great weapon because you never have the problem with ammo and what you will realize is that often in situations where you are confronted with enemies, you are very much forced to um, break utility stuff like shields, bubbles, turrets, mines, C4s. Uh, you have to apply consistent pressure and AK is just so much better for that. This weapon allows you to really take control over the enemy heavy because if you would fundamentally take a look at the nature of a heavy, right? You have very small windows of opportunity to apply pressure. For example, if you are playing shotgun, the second you let go of your shield in a high level lobby, you're going to get melted to pieces, right? So uh, obviously when you are playing low level ranked, uh, people usually don't break mesh. People usually don't care about your HP. They're just either running away from you or something else happens. So you absolutely don't wanna. You absolutely don't wanna end up in a situation where you are in the middle of nowhere without mesh as a heavy player. So here, usually you don't wanna do what we are doing, right? Um, but I, I was just going for clips. Like the most proper play here is just to go for Vault Three and pace it to the next cash out as fast as possible. But we are just we are just being chilling, right? Okay, climbing up the roof right here. Um, oh man, I w I wish I would have myself. Um, back in the day when i just started playing the game so so many hours of my time would be saved so many more games would have been won if i knew what i know right now we have been chased by the guy closing the door placing the goo as a medium it's very important to know how to juke properly uh, that's literally going to be the difference between you throwing games for your teammates or winning it for them right so you will actually notice that i am uh not having the main character syndrome playing medium meaning that i rather want my heavies to succeed well and then i just go and then i just go in 1v2 but that's that's a different thing right we are just chasing the orange guys well they did <laughs> he raised that scratch that okay so uh it was a good play so but usually typically i would want to I would want to make sure that they are all healthy, they are presented with movement, and I I don't know, double heavy if you are playing really, really good players, there is no need to run defibrillators. There is absolutely no need to do. Like, in this tournament, you can count how many times this gadget was useful, and yeah, in heavy, medium, light, absolutely, 100% you need to use defibrillator, because the price of mistake is so high, you end up in a situation where you constantly have to reset and you just don't have time for that. Okay, so here we are avoiding uh, the fight with pin guys, because 
they just have the vault and then these guys have the cash out beautiful spray down on the guy like ak shreds man ak is amazing um if you know how to you know operate with it especially yeah uh, if you have a monitor inbuilt crosshair oh my god this makes all the difference bro if you don't not a problem it's absolutely fine you can still cook even without it right so here picking up the zip up top and as you can see we are split a little bit and i'm like kind of shifting my attention from one heavy to another because if one dies my main priority is just to go and um, go for him right reset here boom 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 great uh you want to take the position of power we are running double lewis gun ak meaning that our range is going to be superior and all we need to do is fake and look what's gonna happen look at this <laughs> notice how we are taking different positions on the map and uh um you don't realize how good this is until you try it yourself. So one heavy is at an off angle and then another heavy is playing with uh, the medium. And not only you have the option to hide behind the mesh shield, behind the barricade that heavy places, but also you are not restricted by the one way mesh shield that's staring at you. One way barricade. Of course, your heavy needs to be extremely careful in that situation, not to be an idiot and not to die, not to get jumped on, but... At the end of the day, if you master this, this is going to be great. The off angling is, wow, it is legendary. It is amazing. I'm taking the goo. I wanted to pot from goo, but yeah, that's that's just not an option. Uh, very important to use it. Boom, trick shot. Yes. And then it's going to end up in my hand. Boom, just going to pot. And then we are going to go into the this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then zip across a lot of people are using zip lines only towards roofs which i think is a mistake right you just zip right here and now we have a great advantage over our enemies some very very nice shooting i watched my video uh, six months ago right uh, the ultimate medium guide or whatever and i'm looking at my aim right now and i looked at it back then i went from I went from being a very mediocre aimer to the world class level, especially with tracking stuff, and I cannot be happier with it. I did some I did some aim trainings. You know, like the biggest motivation for me was the fact that there are players that are just so much better than me at aim. Like I'm playing with guys uh, that are infinitely stronger than me and aim and just like in any other sports like for example running you never you never realize that um 100 meters in 10 seconds is a possibility until someone breaks that record you never you never what like, wow this is amazing you never realize how good your aim can be if uh you are never confronted with someone so much more talented than yourself so perhaps you look at my gameplay you see that my aim is close to flawless and you're like oh yeah i want to do that so the next step is how do i practice my aim in a sense that it can be close right so well there are so many youtube videos for that one thing i can say is that um conventional training doesn't work like oh you need to spend like somewhat amount of time in aim trainers and then your aim is going to be like that no absolutely not absolutely not one of the best things i can advise you is to just play aim trainers for fun you don't choose scenarios based on whoever said you choose the scenario that you like and then um what end up one what ends up happening is that when you are practicing what you like you become strong in it and then you use it to your advantage because like some players have best uh, flicking abilities some players have best tracking abilities but here we are just taking the position of power and gatekeeping everyone um amazing i missed the defibrillator absolutely destroyed like People die so fast in the finals when two of you or three of you are looking at the same person and never miss a bullet. I, wow, oh my god. Like, if you ever ran into a serious stack... Oh, by the way, this is the first, uh, this is the first defibrillator and it was completely useless. Absolutely not necessary, I would have slow resed him. Uh, APS would have been 10 times better. So... You end up in a situation where uh, you you are facing like a like a diamond one stack, right? And they are all sweaty. It is it is very very psychologically diff difficult to like 
comprehend the fact that you're like, being erased in a second, just like in CS, you get one dinked. All right, that was the first round. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go for the next one. It's very important to pace yourself as fast as possible to the first vault, and you gotta use your double movement for that. You get 1,000 for tapping the vault, and then you get 2,000 for placing it in. And if you do that three times, that's 9k. And then you mix up some kills, which is 200 per person. And you end up in a situation where you can just solo carry your game just by placing, uh, tapping vaults, placing them and killing people uh, without even, um, without even cashing them out. Right, we've had games like this. So we are going for the cash out A, and I wanted to pot from Goo, but uh, it didn't work. So here, we're gonna do some very interesting stuff, right? I'm like, no, no, I'm gonna take the pot, and then I'm gonna take the zip, and then we're gonna throw the cash away. People don't realize how strong this is. I'm like, yo, let's throw it right here. Boom. Game breaking. Insane. This is... This has never been done before. I've never seen anyone doing that in season one uh, on a daily basis. Now it is as conventional as getting your coffee in the morning. Like, the, like it's so easy to implement. Like a 10 year old can do that with enough practice. And then you end up in a situation where you have insane verticality on maps like soul and stuff and then we're trying to do it then we're trying to play mansion and do it again but unfortunately uh, my, my teammate was so bored playing double heavy he's just the f case and then i die with him what a disaster it's very important not to die in a composition uh, so one of your teammates always has to be the last person to be an idiot he needs to be a person that never dies that stays alive that makes sure that like you know, you're not dying. Boom, cutting corners. Perfect. Textbook. Textbook cutting corners. So he's going to be completely safe. It's borderline impossible to catch a person that's running away from you. In Like, you don't have all map recon. You don't have anything. Like, footsteps are faulty. And then it's just, it's just a complete disaster, right? So here you will you will notice that the cash out that was a very problematic on the roof turned out to be uh, just a practice range for us for aim, right? And... Uh, like <laughs> it is a disaster it is a complete disaster third party very important to pick the right timing for your third party don't go in like an idiot please you want to make sure that you are looking at the tab and letting them fight each other letting them waste their ammo be out of position be out of utility be out of health be out of heals and then you strike you can go as far as last seven seconds and then you jump the cash and then you just steal it simple as that all right so we are going for the next vault yes the next vault is going to be behind us so we are gonna tap it and then bring it on notice how we are not going at the other side of the map just to fight the team which is going to be completely useless at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you are making yourself stronger, not your opponents weaker, right? Because if you drag, like, it's just it's just the fundamental um, state of the psychology, right? If you drag people down, you end up in a situation where uh, you have a bunch of losers around you and you are a loser yourself. But if you are constantly improving yourself, at the end of the day, this is just... Uh, this this is this, this is just gonna completely transform your life and the same thing in the finals absolutely same thing in the finals so here going for some bunny hops and breaking the roof here failed miserably i was like what the hell is that oh it's an elevator oh no this is a disaster okay so if you're running double heavy and you have aps just as i advise you this is the easiest cash on earth to defend impossible to steal impossible impregnable impregnable castle that no one can do anything about it you just place an aps you bring some goo you have barricades nothing opponents can do they're just gonna jump and die from cringe they don't have any utility to uh, substitute for close range and then you are running like double heavy but if you don't have an aps and you forgot to swap it because you're an idiot and you're watching tiktok on the background like me all right uh, you will end up in a situation where you would have to overcompensate and play elevator like an idiot okay boom 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 boom. we almost oh my god imagine it would be a flawless 
one clip, but it wasn't. Okay, so <laughs> Nevermore got absolutely cooked through the wall. And Alright, so the most proper way to retake the elevator is to go from above, but this guy is just this guy has nowhere to run, so um we just ended up in a situation where we catch him between floors. So as you can see here, if we wouldn't catch them here, I would be a big problem for us. But yeah, like they didn't place uh, they didn't place the APS properly and stuff like you just place it behind the cash out and what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, bro? Maybe you throw the gas, but it's like nah nah. I don't know. Very strange. They're not gonna like die that much from a gas, and there is always the room to hide because the area is lesser than oh maybe not. I don't know. I haven't tested it out, but then it's just a hassle to it's just a hassle to do that. So as you can see here. Cash out is 75% through. Uh, it means that if all teams are fighting at sea, realistically, they don't have the chance to rotate to us. So we are just going, right? So if you see that no one is dying on the other side of the map and 75% of the cash out is in, uh, it's pretty realistic that you just go and leave. I've never, I've never seen a situation where I would follow this fundamental principle and then people would steal from me, right? Maybe one in like... 150 cash outs that would be uh, an option but nah, I, I, I don't mind i don't mind we currently have 34,000, and another team is going to have 33 so if you take a look at the macro situation on the map we can grief each other uh meaning that the blue team and the pink team can still lose the game pretty easily um what we have to do is just to wipe and then double stack Wipe double stack, that's going to be a disaster. So here, slow resetting. Very important not to be an idiot. Very important not to go in, commit, and die. And what we want to do is... Well, obviously, we want to steal, right? So we want to apply pressure to pin guys. Oh, disaster struck. <laughs> I'm really trying to help my... I'm really trying to help my heavy and... Oh, that's a second defibrillator. It wasn't useful. You can hide inside the body of a person that you are defibbing. Uh, you are going to be invulnerable. That you cannot shoot as well. Unfortunate. Okay, so we're just going to go in. Boom. And in the process, my guy... Uh, uh, the lamp. The lamp, yeah. My guy stole the cash out. So we are in a very comfortable state where now we can look at tab and see which team we want through. Very important concept because people lose games not in the final round people lose games the point they let strong team go through in round one period period this game is pure luck and coincidence well of course you can manipulate luck and uh, be in a situation where you are luckier than other people but i like I, I would rather not fight strong teams in the finals because it's it's all very very random right it's all very, very random and yeah okay so a pink team went from being first not first but very comfortable uh they went to wipe and then the cash out was stolen from them so it, it was just a complete disaster now what we have to do is we need to stop what do we need to stop maybe we need to stop the double stack and then yeah well it it doesn't matter to be honest at the end of the day like 51k you just anchor uh meaning that one of your teammates just stays AFK in the corner. I mean, scrolls some like YouTube shorts, and then, um, and then you just you just chill, you just chill. Okay, so uh, we're not gonna double stack just not to allow opponents take the first place. I feel like we're gonna get a little bit more elo for the first place. Uh, maybe it's maybe it doesn't work like this. So here we just end up in the situation of position of power. I am semi anchoring, meaning that I'm not committing that much. I like I don't care. I don't care. Replacing the pad for my heavy when he decides to go, as well as to cycle my cooldowns faster. Notice how we have. Um, oh, by the way, we are griefing pink and helping purple, and you will you will see. You will see how, like oh, we want purple in in our game. Uh, someone made a call, so I don't need to look at top. But usually, you have to be the smartest person to look at top. I'm like yo, never don't steal, just don't steal, uh, and we will end up in a situation where we zip towards the mansion back again and yeah i mean we can kill them we can kill them for the movie clip right um or for the sake of the video but we just need to let pink or purple cash it out period and they're gonna win boom 
and this is how you manipulate um whoever gets to the final and then you have the easiest final on earth let's take a look at it i have absolutely no idea how a silver and a gold player ended up in a lobby with us but this was uh, painful this was painful beautiful off angle and this is a lot of damage like they would have to spend at least 10 seconds just to like recover from that from that disaster that just struck at an off angle right okay so we are going for the guy again i'm just gonna take the zip and then pad into the guy double bunny hop and we're gonna boom 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 no, not even a bunny hop we're just gonna I'm just gonna completely cook him alive and in a situation where the person is staggering himself it's very important to just go and destroy people when they are at their weakest so we drop we full commit and then we can stagger them a little bit longer here so if we kill them here and the person coins we will end up in a situation where they are just like Ugh. completely out of position completely out of pace completely out of utility this is like oh and then you you are shooting the goo and it, <laughs> it turns out to be amazing i wanted to try that but i feel like i need to do the right click for it to yeah not the left click i'm like yo never catch the goo oh it didn't work <laughs> maybe catch the goo like that oh it didn't work again oh my god what a disaster obviously i should have just right clicked it so what we have to do right now is post up on like uh, Skyway has to be one of the um, most imbalanced maps because of verticality and how difficult it is to gain it. Like you need double movement, you need coordination, you need great IGL to do it. And if you don't have that, you will end up in a situation where they are just like uh, devouring your life. So here we kind of wasted a bubble, but that's not the problem. We're playing double heavy. We have infinite amount of utility. The guy presses Q and the god forgives him for all the... Um, positional and mechanical since he committed this fight all right and like i don't even need to do anything i'm just here to like I i'm like a i'm like a wife that everyone loves like the children loves the husband loves and i am here to cook clean uh, and uh, make sure that kids are healthy and well fed like no need to be a boss girl woman female right i i can just i can just chill i can relax let my heavy players do all the work like this is <laughs> this is an insane innovation barricade just to you know forbid players from taking the height which is like pretty cool boom another trick shot yep yoink <laughs> nice i love it this is amazing i wish i could do that in life this is so cool um and then we are just okay i want to make sure that he is healthy this is the first thing and then i'm breaking utility which is the second thing and then i want to make sure that my heavy player is healthy again i want to make sure that my heavy player is healthy again boom like i'm i'm pre-healing him because like w realistically where is gonna be the angle where you apply pressure nowhere nowhere is you're gonna be useless anyway right so um oh defib boom great well, that was that was still useless. No, I I don't believe I don't believe in the defibrillator and double heavy. Sorry, guys. I just what like well maybe the game was too easy. Maybe we were just so much better than our opponents that there is no need to use the defibrillator. But think about it. If you have to lose your life to defib your heavy, well, this is a terrible idea. Or maybe not. Um, maybe I'm just biased. Maybe I'm just in a bubble of. Uh, bubble of greatness and i became ignorant i became i like <laughs> it's interesting how i had the um coaching session with uh, a guy and he's like what makes you think that you understand what gold and silver players go through i'm like yeah it, I, I have i have absolutely no idea probably they have different meta up there probably they just they just have completely different outlook on the game overall and i am here speaking to like 0.1 percent of players oh my god <laughs> that, that just that realization mm, was pretty painful so notice what we're gonna do here oh my god you you will not believe what's just gonna happen so we perfectly threw it and now it's jumping and if it's jumping they will never be able to steal it 
right? So I was like, yo, let's actually test out the theory. We're not gonna kill them. We're not gonna kill them. We just try, we'll just try to allow them to steal and see what's gonna happen because, you know, my scientist brain is like, it's, 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 it wants, it wants some content, it wants some experiments, and uh, this, this, on paper, this seems unstealable, right? And let's actually see what they, what they are doing. I'm like, yo guys, can we, can we just let them, can we just let them, you know, uh, that beautiful zipline, can we just let them try to steal, and then we interrupt it if something goes wrong? Uh, this is just gonna be a, like a, uh, blind placebo, what was another? What was the another aspect of like PubMed studies? Like, right? <laughs> Nevermore is making friends with the medium, and the <laughs> I was like, man, what are you doing? <laughs> no, he needs to steal. Don't make friends with him. And then the heavy is like, no, I'm not gonna lose my diamond ring. And then there is a guy behind me, like, what are you doing, bro? I'm I'm doing an experiment. And then they are they they are trying to they are trying to destroy the mega pad, which is not gonna work. And then he wants to use the barricade to block it, and it, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's just a disaster. Oh my god, what a, what a disaster! Oh my god. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. That was a great video. See you next time.